<laughs> okay. Well, we started out with our MAPS NWEA RIT scores. And so we have for measurement and data. And so we had our different groups into our RIT scores. And then from there, we got onto our learning continuum. And we looked under each of our groups to see what the specific skills that we need to introduce were. And we we're working with money. So with each of the groups that we had up here, the RIT ranges, we found what specific um, assess or essential learning that we needed to do, and that's what we identified for each group. And then we came up with projects from there. Okay, so this is for our low group. They are below grade level, so they are starting at the base. Our teacher group is going to have them bring their coins, and we're just working on counting light coins and only to a dollar. After the teacher group, they'd be going to watch the Zaption video which would have them, you know, identifying coins, have them stop, count. Then they would move on to identify and count like coins to a dollar. And this could be a partner or group game. And finally, they would practice their skills on apps and games on the computer. Okay, so this is our next group, our second to lowest group, one of our uh, medium to low groups. Um, they're going to first work on identifying and counting mixed coins to $10 by watching Zaption videos and answering the questions that go with them. After that, they'll get with the teacher and they'll take their coins and bills with the teacher to work with the teacher one-on-one -on -one in a small group. And then they'll practice in their small group and record themselves working with coins and bills on a swivel. This is our second highest group and what they're going to be doing is counting, their objective is to count bills and change back to $10 and they also use the SIP swivel um, to record their group. Uh, but that's probably after they uh, go to the teachers, they bring their money and count that out loud to them, uh, to, to that teacher for some form of a form of assessment. Um, before they would do that, uh, they wouldn't be in the teacher group because that would be the first and second one. They would read about it or they would watch a Nearpod or a Pear Deck uh, to learn more about it. Um, and at the end, they could watch a Khan Academy uh, video to prove that they learned and mastered their objective. Okay, so this is our last group and it's our highest group. These guys are really above grade level. And so we thought a big project would be really good for them, um, creating a classroom store where they can incorporate counting back change and working with all that money. So what they're going to do is they're going to warm up with maybe some sort of um, money game that counts back change on an app or something. And then they're going to watch a teacher video on how to create a store, get to do it themselves, and then they'll end up with the teacher for maybe some check-in, some questions, and things like that. And then when they're done, they can also prove what they know with another formative assessment such as Khan Academy or something like that. Um, okay, so the way that we would like all of these resources to come together is maybe on one common website where all the students could go to find like their Zaption videos, um, the high group would go there to find their directions, their teacher video, explain the directions for their project, and then again at the end we would want them to come together with a formative assessment where the teacher can use that data to regroup them for the rest of the unit.